Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Quick Code Wednesday. Today we are going to talk about refactoring, more specifically about how you can achieve composition over inheritance. The example in this episode will be from the Android world but the concepts can be easily translated to other object-oriented languages. Before we start coding, let me show you what the application does. As you can see, the app shows us a list of movies where we can see the ratings, release dates and various other information. There's also a filter section with some options that pops up when you click on the filter button. There's not much more to this application, but uh, it's enough to illustrate the point we're trying to make here. Let's take a closer look at the code base. The app's entry point is main activity that contains two fragments. Added, one is added through the XML file for convenience, the movie list fragment, and the filters fragment is instantiated when the user presses on the filters button. Everything else is just supporting code and some very hard-coded data and intentionally filled with bad practices for illustration purposes. The filters fragment and the movie list are isolated components, but they do need to communicate in some way. The filters fragment needs to notify the movie list when the filters have been updated. Traditionally, before architecture components were introduced to Android to implement this communication, the filters fragment had to do it through the main activity. In order to keep the dependency direction between main activity and filters fragment, an interface had to be introduced, the filters update listener in our case. This interface is implemented by the main activity and the implementation passes the message to reload the list fragment. One of the ways that I can mentally check if composition would work better than inheritance is to ask the question, can I say from the perspective of the code that is using main activity that it's a filters update listener? Remember, inheritance in object-oriented programming can be phrased as an is a relationship. Well. In our case, not really. Main activity is instantiated and used by the operating system and doesn't really care about anything other than the fact that it's an activity. So we need to get rid of filters update listener and use composition instead. If you look at the filter fragment, we notice what happens when we use inheritance more than we should. At the time of this recording, the best way of dealing with shared state and communication between separate UI components is to use a shared view model from architecture components. I think this is a bit more readable than what we had before. You can clearly see the composition that the filters fragment and movie list fragment have a shared state and it's not polluted by unnecessary information. But it's enough theory, let's start coding. So the first thing we will do is to create a shared view model called movies view model. The view model will contain the live data, which is just an observable field specific for Android. And the technique used here is just to make sure that we only expose a simple live data instead of the mutable live data. We also need a reload movies function to trigger the reload. Normally, this is the place to add any long running operation and put the results back into the live data. The main activity no longer needs to mediate the communication between the two fragments, so we can just remove the interface and its implementation. In the movie list fragment, the current reloading mechanism is no longer being used. We will load it from the view model instead. We are extracting the adapter so we can use it later. To add the view model to this fragment, we can create the field delegated by the activity view models. And we only need to observe the view model, making sure that we use the life cycle, view lifecycle owner. When we have a new value for movies, we just need to pass it to the adapter. Going to the filters fragment, we no longer need the filters update listener. We can instead add the same view model as a field here. And by delegating to the same activity view models, we make sure to use the same instance as the movie list fragment. The very confusing unattach method can also be removed as well as the interface. Instead of calling the method we declared in the interface, we just call reload movies on the view model and that will trigger the reload and any UI component that's observing the movie's live data. The next thing to do is to remove the interfaces that the filters fragment inherits from. 
we will start with the onChange listener. Seeing where the, compli the complaints, let's us see where to apply our different approach. In this case, we can use a simple lambda. The text watcher can be also be replaced with a lambda. In this case, it's even a bigger advantage because the interface forced us to have two empty method methods in our class. The selection change listener does not have a way to pass it as a lambda, but we can still use composition by moving the implemented method here to an inner class. The only thing we need to make sure is to name it properly. One of the best names you could give these listeners is the action it will perform when triggered. Reload on selection change in our case. And that's it. We got rid of all of the interfaces. As you can see, uh, refactoring to use composition instead of inheritance is not very hard once you get the hang of it. It makes the code much more readable, structured, and even shorter sometimes. Let me know in the comments below how you apply composition over inheritance. And if you have any tips for us fellow coders. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.